Hey everybody, it's BuilderDude35, and this week's video is about how to program your line following robot to cross over an intersection in the line. This year's FLL Trash Track Challenge Mat has a lot of great lines for line following. However, most of these lines have some kind of intersection because a whole bunch of lines meet at one point. And this is a problem because if you're not careful, these lines that intersect are going to mess up your robot because they'll give your color sensors false readings. Now, I'll, in this video, I'll be explaining how to circumvent this problem. First of all, let's just discuss who doesn't necessarily need to worry about this. Now, the people who don't need to worry about this problem are the people who use a one sensor line follower where the color sensor is always on one side of the line and the line they're following only has intersections on one side of the line because in that case then you can just move your color sensor to the other side of the robot uh, opposite where the intersection is and you'll be fine like I'm showing in this picture here however if you're either using a two sensor line follower or the line that you're following has intersections on both sides you want to keep watching this video to figure out how to fix this problem the first step is to take some measurements with our odometers and we're going to go into port view for this the first thing we're going to measure is the distance between the starting point of the line following and when you actually get to the intersection. Now in this case I've measured it to be negative 600 degrees. You're going to measure it off of motor B or C, your drive motors. Next we're going to exit out of port view and then we're going to measure how long it takes to get the robot over the intersection, in this case 87 degrees. So here I have opened the EB3 programming software and right here I have my algorithm for the two sensor proportional line follower that I made in a previous video, but this works with any line follower that you use that's encased inside of a loop block. So what we're going to do is change the loop's case to motor rotation in degrees and change it to one of measuring one of the drive motors, either B or C, and what you're going to do is enter the number of degrees that it took for the robot to reach the intersection that's what we measured in port view just a few seconds ago so in my case it was negative 600 and then if you have a positive number in that box you're going to want it to be greater than which is 2 or in my case since it's a negative number you want it to be less than after that what's, what's going to happen is the robot's going to drive for 600 degrees and at which point it should be at the intersection and it's going to break out of this loop block and then move to whatever's afterwards so the next step is going to be to take out a tank block and just set it on for degrees and set it on for whatever amount of power that you had in my case I'm going to use 35 percent power only use negative power if you know that's what makes the robot go forward and which is my case and then here we're going to enter the number of degrees that it took for the robot to go over the line in my case it was 87 degrees so I'm going to round it off to 90 so you enter the amount of degrees that it took for the robot to go over the line and then lastly if you want to resume line following what you're going to do is just uh, copy and paste which is control C and control V so copy and paste your line following algorithm back over here the robot will continue line following after it's past the intersection. So what is going on here? So first we have the robot starts line following for 600 degrees. Once it gets to 600 degrees, which is presumably at the intersection, it stops line following and just drives forward for that short 90 degrees to get over the intersection so it doesn't get uh, messed up and wig itself out. And then after it's past the intersection, it's going to resume line following again and that's basically how this program is working. So here's the modified line follower in action. Notice the orange light that turns on when it passes over the intersection. This is just some quick thing that I added so we can see what the robot's doing. Thank you for watching my video this week. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials every week and if you have an idea for a tutorial, don't forget to submit it in the comments section. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.